Hey everybody, Will Clayton, Senior Regional Representative with Pheasants Forever, introducing our new series, Why Did They Do That? When we're on the road, we get lots of questions from members, supporters, and chapter volunteers just like you, asking why do we do the things we do on the landscape? We hope that this new series, Why Did They Do That?, will help answer some of those questions. Today, we're here to talk about tree removal. Why do we do that? Hello, I'm Saban Adams, the Minnesota Public Lands Manager with Pheasants Forever. We do a lot of restoration and enhancement projects out here on the prairie. And one of the practices that we use that causes a lot of people to scratch their heads and say, why do they do that, is tree removal. Well first, let's talk about pheasants. We are pheasants forever after all. A lot of pheasant hunters easily come to the conclusion that pheasants need trees. In the fall and winter, we often see pheasants congregated in areas of trees. And no one would doubt that that tree cover can help pheasants get through the winter conditions. But as an example, let's look at last year's winter. The Minnesota winter of 2022-2023 was extremely brutal. Lots of deep snow and many days of sub-zero temperature caused a lot of us to think that we would see a significant decline in our pheasant population. Fortunately, however, across much of the pheasant range, we had excellent nesting conditions. And any birds that were lost due to the severe winter rebounded quickly. And as a result, Many hunters this fall are reporting excellent pheasant numbers in the field. Now a lot of people would say, well why don't we do both? Why don't we have trees and grassland nesting habitat? The difficulty with trees is that they not only take up space that could be grassland habitat, but they degrade the quality of the surrounding grassland area by providing homes for nest predators such as skunks, foxes, raccoons, and weasels. The second thing to consider when talking about trees out on the prairie ecosystem is that these areas are oftentimes managed for multiple species and not just pheasants. Take for example the bobolink. If you've ever stood in a large grassy area late spring or early summer, you've likely heard the song of the bobolink. According to the North American Breeding Bird Survey, the bobolink population has declined by at least 56% since 1960 and this is attributed to the loss and degradation of prairie grassland habitat. We're not going to hear any bobolinks singing out here today. It's November and they've migrated south. That woody cover is not providing them any benefits. By removing woody cover and trees from the prairie landscape, we're improving habitat conditions for bobolinks, pheasants, and other prairie dependent species. And that's why we do it. 